Well, I'm here today with Rick Redford, one of the co-founders of a company called Biz. So welcome, Rick. Thanks, Kathy. Well, it's great to have you here. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. How many years have you been involved in the, kind of the natural products arena? And kind of why this Biz, te biz Pure Technology attracted you? Yeah. Well, I've been involved in the, in the nutritional products industry now for over 20 years. Uh, I started with a company called Weeder Nutrition that's now called Shift Nutrition. Uh, I've had an opportunity actually of working in all of the different trade channels of nutritional products, which um, gives me a chance to see all of the technologies really and, and, and a lot of products that come along. And, and so I've, I've been in both nutritional products from a, a traditional marketing standpoint as well as from a multi-level marketing standpoint. So I've seen all of the ranges in between there. And so when we first saw the Viz technology, and it was uh, it was about two and a half years ago, um, when, when, when we first saw this, I looked at it and said, if this science is real, this could be a game changer in nutritional products. And I really believe that. I think that uh, having the experience that I have, and also um, even further before that, as I was growing up, I was a competitive swimmer and water, water polo player. And in that process, we took nutritional products to help strengthen us. And, and my grandfather was a, a doctor of internal medicine that actually prescribed nutrition, even back in the day. And so I've, I've had nutritional influence almost all of my life, even though professionally it's just been in the last 20 plus years. So when we saw this, and I, and I remember this the, to the day, in the restaurant we were in in Salt Lake City, I said, if this science is real, then this is going to change the, the impact on nutritional products because it's going to finally deliver to the body these nutrients that I know people haven't been getting. Wow, that's really exciting. You know, so you started this company, Biz, and I recently was reading a book about Steve Jobs. You know, he just recently lost one of the great visionaries, entrepreneurs of our time. Absolutely. And uh, Mr. Jobs constantly reminded his employees, he says, we got to do things differently here at Apple. So tell me how that relates to Biz. How are we going to do things differently at Biz? <laughs> well... To be honest with you, uh, having had experience in this industry uh, as long as I have and having worked with a number of different companies, I think I've seen the, the good, the bad, and, and the ugly at times of this industry. And it became clear to me a number of years ago that this great industry was founded upon uh, some, some governing principles, some real inherent principles that, that led people, that drove people to this great industry that we're in. And I think that the industry has somewhat mutated over time, unfortunately. There's some great companies out there, don't get me wrong. But I think that when we first had the opportunity to look at this fresh and to say, let's do something different, there were some aspects of that in terms of the relationship between corporate and leadership and the field that were critical in, in our eyes. Um, that this is truly a partnership, that we not only respect and honor what each distributor does each and every day, that they, that they wake up and, and, and really decide whether or not they want to be involved with us or not. It's a day-to-day -day behavior, and, and it's something we have to continue to uh, support that belief, to create uh, the support of that belief. And so as we looked at this and we said, let's do this differently. Let's create a product that is unique and fundamentally something that people can, can really get excited about. Let's create a compensa compensation mechanism that will really reward that behavior. Let's create a relationship between corporate and the field. It's not us and them, but it's a partnership. Let's, let's consider that and how can we do things differently. Now, it's easy for me to say this and to, to use words to, to verbalize it, but it's really in our behavior and actions that where people will see that we're different. And I think that just the vision of creating, and I love the term vision because you can spell that with a B-I-Z, exactly. but the vision of, of this company mm -hmm. is to create a mechanism, a vehicle, a home, and I, I really mean a home, where people from all walks of life, from all demographics, uh, can truly be successful and can change their lives both from a product standpoint, but also from a, a, found, uh, a financial standpoint. And, uh, and I'm excited about the prospects that this uh, can deliver. Well, awesome. Well, talking about the financial part of it, not only do you have the experience in the health field, but you also have a lot of experience in compensation plans. Mm -hmm. And can you kind of tell us your goal in designing the, uh, the discount plan? Absolutely. Uh, and it's, it's interesting because my, I'm really a sales trained individual and most salespeople aren't really inherently excited about 
um, how things work. <laughs> they just want to sell, sell, sell. But, but I've always been, even in the nutritional products, I've loved manufacturing. I've loved to go in and see how things are made and so on. And so from the very start, when I first got involved with network marketing and multi-level marketing, I, I became fascinated with compensation plans. I was one of the few corporate people who really understood and could train and teach a compensation plan. And so when we designed this plan, we got together as a team, and it, it very much is a team effort. We had some great people involved all the way from Mark Lizenby, who's one of the partners, and myself, to uh, Tim Simpson and Carol Maltzbarger, who we all had feedback into this comp plan. We, there were some tenets that we really believe very strongly in. One of those is that we, we felt it was important that we guaranteed paying out 50%. That we pay out 50% on volume. It's transparent. There is no breakage to the company. Another one of the aspects was that we know in a lot of companies out there, many members of the management team or their spouses or siblings are in the top of these compensation plans. It, it isn't illegal, but to us, it's unethical. And so we said, absolutely, none of us were going to be involved with this compensation plan. And we wanted to create a plan that was based upon and rewarded human behavior, real human behavior. So many of the plans out there, and I kind of date myself when I say this, but on the Ed Sullivan show, they used to be the guy that would get up and spin plates. <laughs> right. And uh, and I think a lot of the compensation plans actually are created to make people do that. And so people miss out on different bonuses and aspects of the comp plan because human behavior doesn't support that. At the end of each pay period, and I had the same conversation last night. Someone said, you know what I do at the end of the pay period? I go out and I and I buy these positions to make sure I'm qualified. That doesn't make sense to us. We said, you know what, let's reward actual human behavior. And so that's the goal of this compensation plan, that so that the masses of individuals, people who are out there every day doing a little bit, can make a check. It doesn't have to be a significant check. It just has to be representative of the effort. And then because of that, people and leadership can experience success like they've never experienced because masses of people will be able to see some benefits. And that's really the grand fundamental of that plan. Well, that's great because we all know, you know, an aspect of health is also part of this financial health as well as physical. And we only need all aspects of health. Well, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but, <laughs> but you will. <laughs> but <I know. laughs> will you kind of give us a little, you feel the, the goal or the projections are for, for this in the upcoming year, you know, sales, you know, product development? maybe expansion into other countries? Yeah, and, and the sales part is, is hard because we're a private company and we don't report our sales. But I will say this, that um, our, our goal in coming into this was not to be a billion-dollar company. I mean, I think that what happens is when you chase chase money, it becomes the elusive butterfly. If you if you chase the right things, if you, if you try to deliver a product and, and a compensation plan and a, and a mechanism and a company that really does deliver, the success will come. And so we have set some aggressive goals. But I don't feel comfortable at this point really giving financial numbers of this. Exactly. But, I, but I will say that um, as far as expansion is concerned, right now we have the Men's Complete, Women's Complete, Cleanse, the Energy Plus, and we also are coming out, as you know, with the Super Omega Plus. We're working on a skincare line that is um, delivers the same technology topically, which I'm excited about that because uh, we actually met with a, a second-generation plastic surgeon at Beverly Hills, and when we explained the, uh, the, this um, technology to him, he said, that's going to make such a huge difference in skincare because um, the problem with most of the fat-soluble nutrients today is they're just emollients. They just sit on the top of the skin. So he said, this could have a tremendous impact on the skin and delivering nutrients to the skin. So a skincare line that will, right now, about four or five products, we're working on a joint formula, which uh, we've been able to solubilize a couple of interesting things like curcumin or turmeric, which is a very exciting ingredient, obviously frankincense. Uh, a couple of other ingredients that we're working on there as well. Uh, an eye formula. So many people are, 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 including myself, have aging eyes and, and a lot of people with advanced macular degeneration. And so lutein is something we've been able to, to uh, solubilize. We're working on a heart formula. We've been able to solubilize resveratrol, which is a very, very important ingredient. So um, we, we could, I love this technology because we can literally introduce something every six months and never run out. So it's not, we're a technology company, so we're not a, a single bottle company or something where this is going to change the world. We're a technology company that can make everything better. And I'm excited about the prospects of that. As far as demographically, or I should say geographically, right now we, we uh, now can go into Canada. We're working on a, a better shipping method into Canada. Probably sometime before fall, before the launch, we'll be expanding uh, not for resale into Japan. And then from there, um, it's kind of open. 
because uh, I don't believe that we at corporate should sit in a room and say, you know, let's go to this country or that country. If that were the case, we would go to Italy where my daughter lives. But that doesn't make a lot of sense financially. So what we would do is we'd say, where's, where's the next opportunity? It may be Latin America because we've got such strong groups in California and Texas, but you can help us decide that. So that's kind of where we are today. Awesome. Well, it's all very exciting, Rick. And uh, once again, we've been here today with uh, Rick Edford from Wiz talking about this great new company. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy.